What is going on everyone? D Leathers 11 here and uh, welcome back to the Cleveland State Vikings uh, Lacrosse Dynasty. Uh, we got a big challenge on our hands this week as we're going to be taking on the uh, Johns Hopkins Blue Jays. Uh, this team is uh, one of the most storied programs in college lacrosse. Uh, they have won nine uh, championships, second only to Syracuse who's uh, won ten. And uh, as we take a look at how they've performed so far this season, uh, I don't think they've dropped a game yet. So week one, they uh, beat uh, Albany by two goals. Uh, the second week, they took down Mercer, uh, who we also played by four goals. And uh, week uh, three, or game three, they beat the Army uh, Black Knights by uh, six goals. So uh, they're coming into this game 3-0 you know, just like we are, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a really good uh, good game. Go ahead and buy the Lucky Draw, which got us a bunch of boosts for this game, which is great considering the opponent we're playing against. I'll wear the whites and let Hopkins wear their uh, home colors. Yeah, this should definitely be the toughest game that we've had on the schedule so far. So hopefully we'll really keep the momentum going from that last game against Mercer. It was a little closer than I would have uh, preferred. But uh, if anything, it gave us a little experience in a close game like that. Eamon McEnany. Hello and welcome. Well, you couldn't have asked for better weather than this. Very few clouds around today. Maybe even time for sunscreen. Yeah, how we do in this game is really going to kind of uh, set the tone for the season the going forward. And if we take go. down Hopkins, that is a giant in the NCAA lacrosse world. So it be an absolutely uh, monster win for our program. The young uh, Vikings here. Two. Akerson gets bumped, swings out wide. Shoots. Dodges past the defense, the shot goes off the post. The so Pretty good first look at the, the net there, the Vikings. Akerson comes the right back, absolutely buries it. This goes right by the long stick. Gets the opportunity, Cleveland State's after the quick uh, one ready goal to advantage. Play. It's one zero for the away team. Moore wins the faceoff. McIlvain gets in and rips. Knocked loose. Wyman Park recover. Nice dodging there, but not able to uh, make anything come out of it. We hope try and get some uh, good defense going. Morin. Slings it. Koopman was all over that one, and he goes one for one. Very nice save by uh, Koopman. He press it down on the side of the field. Six seems to run out of gas. This is kind of on fumes now, so we'll dump it off. Wagner looks for his opportunity to Price. Double teamed. Trip Smith. Hounded by the defender. 
Wagner uncorks it. The ball it bounces off of a twenty-three's uh, legs there into the crease and away harmlessly for Hopkins. Really just gotta try and prevent them coming down the middle. As Hopkins throws the ball away. Dodge right past the defender into open space. And come right down, get the second goal. Wagner really just beelined it for the net, and uh, once he beat his first defender, nobody really was there to help. Cleveland State goes up 2 0 with that one. Just a strong, uh, strong take there. Set and ready for the restart. It's really what we like to see on offense. You don't want a lot of guys standing around taking Four. deep shots Steals and you want to get up close. Score. Give yourself a better chance at, at uh, netting the netting the goal. Atkerson just McElvain. pretty heavily covered there. He lets it go. McElvain let it fly, wide. but Green a little ball. too far away. Shot sailed wide. Another quick uh, pass and shot, but not able to get it past the goalie. Cleveland State will go back on defense. Little pressure at the ball, ball carrier. Kyle Marr has the ball on the right side. Shaq Stanwick, who goes in the crease, and turns it over. Lack of discipline there. Wyman Park lose possession. Stanwick is uh, probably, uh, if not Hopkins' best player, then one of their, easily one of their best players. So definitely got to keep our eyes on as the ball gets jarred out of action. Stick. We actually got it back there, but it was a violation. The ball goes back to the Blue Jays. Still looking for their first goal of the contest. Zai Rove in the middle. Hopkins has a wild pass. I guess it looked as a shot, or it counted as a shot as they were uh, got the ball back with the cover. The ball goes to the ground. Barry Jordan There's picks the ball up. The away team. Lose it. Jordan. Snatching possession. He hits it to Mickelvane. Tries to dodge. He'll get just a little bit of space, not too much though. Ah, uh, Trip Smith couldn't stop his momentum Smith going into the crease. The Morin looks to Barry, and two. And that is trouble. You have Kyle Marr, any sort of space like that, he's gonna make you pay every time. Even though he was going away from the net, but. That shot just comes Every super quick, and uh, Blue Jays get on the board. It it's two to one now, Cleveland State. Moore, gets the step yet again. Moore takes he the face off. Well. Braswell tries to get a quick opportunity. Um, earns himself a just out of control, foul. soaring into the crease. Ball quickly Tigger. goes back to Hopkins. The shot. Oh, another Ryan quick right pass and game. shot from uh, Hopkins, and they tie the game right back up. So Important as quick as Cleveland State got up by two, Patty vanishes immediately. Moore. And it is all uh, tied Ryan up again. Just under a minute left in the first Moore. quarter. So Long say Scott Ratliff coming down. Hopkins doesn't pressure him surprisingly. Over to Ben Stinson, who gets Here's into space. The Brock Turnbaugh's there to make the nice save. The ball goes off the post. Luckily for Cleveland State, we'll push it back up. Gets off the shot. Atkerson, Atkerson goes down great. the middle and two nets that goal. Glorious goal. That's two goals in the match now for him. The away team are on three. Right in the top left shelf. Beautiful shot. We get one last look at that one. 
He was just undeterred by the defender. The clear here mistake gets their uh, gets the advantage back. Just 15 seconds left here. Hopkins able to win the draw. Try really hard not to give up a late quarter goal here. Ball goes way out of the zone. With just three seconds left. They throw it away, and we're just gonna lob it. So turnover here to resume. So that's the end of the first quarter here. Wyman Park doing well, but not well enough. The away team maintain a narrow lead. It's three, two. It's pretty, uh, pretty even contest so far. Three, two. And, uh, yeah, early advantage of the faceoffs uh, face Express. We'll try and continue that. Ball. It's all about horse. They've definitely proven their offense is able, Ryan capable of scoring very quickly as we lose the opening faceoff in the second quarter. Oh, yes. And just go ahead and leave 14 Williams wide open. And he makes us pay for that. Well, this time Ross Moore takes the faceoff. Get it up to Matt Newfelt, to Ackerson. Braswell. Braswell is right in front of the net. But the goalie now. stops him on the point blank shot. So overstepped the uh, ball carrier there slightly. And we got him double teamed. So I wasn't too worried about that one. So try and move the ball up the field. Alvarez dumps it off to Trip Smith. Comes around the top. Finds the open Braswell. Inexplicably misses that shot. He's wide open. Goes off the post. So they roam in the middle. Goes off the side of the net there. Hopkins has the coverage in the back to get the ball back. They try a shot from deep, and it's uh, stopped by the Vikings. Push it back up the field. Trying to break this tie again. Ratliff going down the middle, thought better of it. Stephen Riley being harassed. Brazel went down the middle, gets the ball bumped out of his stick. Just swing it around. Trip Smith and David Sanchez over around the top. The ball goes to the ground. It looked like our two of our Nicely players were kind of recovered. glitching there and hung up on each other. That's definitely not what you want on offense. In to shoot. Shot goes over the goal there. Bluebird's ball. And we were lucky not to give up the goal in that, uh, in that drive. With a blast. Puts it wide. Bluebird's ball. With the shot. Tried to close in on that and just wasn't quick enough to get there as Hopkins takes the advantage. But the beautiful goal. They went top shelf as well. Like my last goal from Atkinson and they get the one goal advantage. Ross Moore wins the faceoff. Cleveland State brings it down to the uh, offensive zone. That new felt down the middle. Puts it wide. Green Slams ball. the ball into the turf, but unable to uh, convert. Here's Harrison Braswell swinging around the back. The Wagoner. A lot of standing around on offense for Cleveland State right now. Pretty good uh, look there, but unable to convert as Hopkins gets the ball back. Koopman catches that one as easy as you like. Koopman stops the shot from Marr, who's just been peppering us today. Brandon Price brings it down. Does a double dodge. And gets the goal. Great shot there. He has really cranked that one back. Slits past the goalie's left side. And so we're all tied at four here, with about two minutes left before halftime. 
Rousemore continues putting in good work at the, uh, the faceoff. He gets the ball back for us. Brings it into the zone. Trying to find someone to dump it off to. It's Jackson Braswell. Over to Brandon Price. The middle of the is there with the save. Wasn't having a bar of that one. Transition opportunity now. Sampson. Goal top center. Goal top right. Carter. Moore. Winds up the cannon and goes boom. And Pretty good look for uh, Hopkins there, but well defense so holds up. As we look to clear, and, and oh man, for them now. just as I went to pass it to uh, the guy at midfielder, he looked Takes away the from the ball. Gets one for oh, we have the bad turnover, and then they come down and make us pay for it because they get the long stick goal. So that was a really tough sequence for us. It's five. We're at a one goal uh, deficit now. Wins it for Hopkins Parker. also wins the face off. So we go immediately go back Williams. on defense. As a look, goes if we take a shot, sails out. Kyle Meyer with the ball. Looks like he got bumped out of his stick. It sails well wide. Cleveland State gets the ball back. We'll try and uh, convert on this opportunity before halftime. Brandon Price down to the zone. Over to McIlvain. It's a Shoots. That's good, uh, good look at it, but not able to convert. Oh, oh we no. just got absolutely destroyed way, there. Stick check in the attacking zone I attempted to pick that up, and I knew that there was a chance I'd go out of bounds like that, but I wasn't able to sort of get at it otherwise. Let's one fly. Saved by the goal. So we clear it. It's about 15 seconds left in the half. So we look for Braswell. one last opportunity. Braswell, with the shot. Braswell got a really good look at it there, but unable the to convert. Here's Stinson in the middle. And his shot goes wide. We've got just three seconds now. Really need to get a fast uh, look at it. And we did get one, just one last and shot off, but goalie holds break, holds Wyman up, and uh, that'll be a half. So Cleveland State. They'll be hoping they can now hold on to it for the final. We half. didn't play Still that badly, but go. Hopkins, it's as five, I said, is four. a really good team. So you know we're uh, we're in the game, and uh, just a one goal deficit. So can definitely make that up in the second half. But yeah, it's been fairly uh, fairly even contest so far like to see a little more ball movement for uh, Cleveland State than we've Down been getting face -off for a huge possession. as we get this uh, second half started. Moore, cinches it and Moore takes the face off, dumps it up to Jackson Braswell. On the right side to Reed Wagoner, who dodges into the middle. Braswell. Over to Braswell and back to Wagoner. Long stick Alvarez goes in, dump off to Wagoner. That one hit the pipe. And the ball goes off the post. Second Loose time that's Transition happened opportunity now today for, for Cleveland State. Team. So just getting some tough breaks. 32. Looks to bury. And then the exact same thing happens to Hopkins as they come down hit the post. And they do get the crease violation. <laughs> Almost thought that referee was a defender running at me for a second. Swim move. Shoots. The shot misses due to the defender getting in the way there. Good oh, ball, ball bounce off of the defender. It, was, it seemed like it took a weird, uh, a weird hop or something. I wasn't quite sure what happened there. Smith. Oh, quick thinking. Koopman. Smith comes down and gets uh, stopped by our goalie, who's having a pretty decent day. Just five goals through uh, first half. Oh, this. Dodging all over the place. And the shot goes wide.
Braswell, and Braswell just takes Braswell it straight at the net. The and Hopkins just couldn't keep up with them. He was able to sprint past him and knock it in the left side. Knots this game up. Here we go now About three and a half reset. minutes left. Here in third. Rossmore gets yet another faceoff win. Up to Braswell. Here's Wagoner. Wagoner off the post Takes it strong to the net and once today. again. Nobody on Hopkins seemed to step up there. Just kind of sticks uh, not out and defending but just at their sides. Well, he did reach actually but kind of was swiping at nothing as Wagoner was already Face past him. So. We got the the one goal lead back. We'll try and build on it here. Rossmore takes the face off again. Kicks it up to Harrison Braswell. With the chance, puts it wide. Take it, takes a bounce shot, but unable to get it to go in. Stinson Sling it around the, the back of the net. Ben Stinson coming up on the other side. He gets bumped, and he's able to find the net. He took a shot at the top right shelf. But yeah, flat feet there from uh, 16 on Hopkins' defense. Not a lot of help defense being played today by the Blue Jays. Are to and Vikings play. are out to a uh, two-goal lead now. It would just be an absolutely huge win for the program to knock off a team of Hopkins caliber, especially on the road. Graham McIlvain gets it to Reed Wagoner. And he just gets absolutely mo right mobbed by zone. Hopkins there, and, and uh, Ball gets knocked out of his ball. stick. Here's a shot. Time. And that time, Cle Cleveland Ozzah. State defense was too slow to react. Hopkins quickly moves the ball down the field. Just leaving the attackman wa completely wide open, so we really left our goalie out to dry there. Starting again here at the face -off between Patty our and our uh, advantage just cut to one goal now. Rossmore wins the faceoff. Wins the face -off and they get a step. Here's Baron McIlvain coming down. He lets it go. Don't Trump usually take long save. shots like that, but I was completely open, so decided to just give it a shot. Unable to convert. Testing his matchup, slings it, bam! Great Whoa, goal. what a shot he there! The as Hopkins buries the super deep look, and it actually bounced off my goalie, so that really was probably a shot that he should have stopped. Patty for Wyman Park, more for the away team. And we're all Here knotted up at seven off. now after that. Uh, Hopkins, Wyman Park wins the cheap goal they they are able to tally. Flies over the top. Blue ball. Tigger opens up and shoots. And it's turned over. Easy possession. Cleveland State's Wyman finally Park. able to get the ball back. We look for the clear. There's Mickelvain over to Newfelt. Down to Braswell. And he shoots. Takes it strong Knock at the loose. net. Not happy at I must have just Braswell barely stepped flagged. on the very just side of the line there as we get the turnover. He's in. Saved by the goal. Hits the bar. Got another bar or a shot to go off the bar. But we'll take it in a game that's this close. Here's Alvarez. Looking for help. Gets it off to Ackerson. Back to Alvarez. Takes the long stick shot and Turnbaugh holds up. Turnbaugh's really a great goalie and he's showing that today. We're having a Let's tough time getting goals. Why did the goal with that shot? Blue ball. Offside right. Ball top center. Two. Ball top right. 
Looks to the back of the net and saves. Nice save by Koopman there. Oh, and Hopkins picks off her pass. Takes the shot. Nicely recovered. We're able to stop them from the short range shot going in there. Thankfully. As we try and get it up to a uh, short stick. And find a nickel lane. Sanchez. Here's some Sanchez flying around. He loses his defender. Kicks it to Braswell in the middle. He can able to finish that goal. Nice sequence there from the Cleveland State offense as they get get the ball moving. And Cleveland State is up eight to seven now. Just uh, 20 se seconds left before the uh, final quarter. Patty wins the faceoff. Blue ball. Is always dangerous. Shaq Stanwick. Eight seconds left. And Hopkins comes down and gets that late quarter goal, which is really can be killers. And it is eight apiece. It's just six seconds left now. So whoever gets this ball here is going to have to be taking some kind of far shot, more than likely. Cleveland State wins it. Slings it down. Two seconds, one second. We are able to get a shot off, but it's not a particularly good one. Turnbaugh cleans that up easily. And yeah, it's all all even at eight going into this last uh, quarter of the game, so this will d decide it. Back to the face off X for another scrap. Cleveland State wins the opening face off of the fourth quarter as Trip Smith comes down unguarded. We got the crease violation, but the ball was stopped anyways, so nothing, uh, nothing too major to be concerned with there. Koopman gets the big save as Newfelt brings it down, kicks it up to Brandon Price. Diving down, and Price gets the big goal to start off the fourth. In that top shelf. Face -offs are enormous Four and a half minutes now. Let's see, who comes away with it. see if the Vikings can pull off this big, uh, big win. Moore wins it for the away team. Would almost be a program-defining win at this point of the young season. Cade Ferris comes down. Doesn't really like the look though. Swings it back out. Price. Gets it to Price. Diving down. The quick, the ball quick toss to Braswell the in the middle. Oh, is it knocked in the back there by the Hopkins defense? So this will lead to a penalty. Play resuming now with an extra man for Wyman See if the Vikings can't make the Hopkins defense pay for this. Price wants it. Oh, and we had the crease violation there. Big chance now for the away team. Looks to shoot. Oh yes. Carter brings the score back to level with that. Goal. Even with the shorts, uh, short-handed, Hopkins is able to come down and knock that goal past our goalie. So, Face -off, so where teams can we are all tied themselves. up at nine here. The penalty is almost over for the Blue Jays. More. Stephen State wins the ball. Go straight on Try and press it to take advantage the of this. The ball goes to the ground. This Turnbaugh stops him point blank. Well, it really was a good opportunity for the Vikings. That was a big save by Turnbaugh. Oh, Dennis Burgess is able to intercept the pass. And here we come down the other way as Cleveland State tries to get it down quickly for a quick, uh, quick look. Atkerson comes around. Atkerson spotted the gap and threaded the needle. One goal lead now for the away team. Absolutely gorgeous goal. So we're having good success shooting Huge at the top off. half of the These net today. Guys can take a beating. They're the heart of the team. Let me say now the one goal advantage. About three and a half minutes left. Attack. Gets it to Wagoner. Dodges right. Dodges left. Dodges right again. Wagoner. Wagoner. Finds Smokes space and Wagoner is able to get the very nice goal. A lot of dodging. Just going right past the 
uh, Hopkins defender is just helpless. Important Cleveland State now with a two goal lead. Patty and Moore. Nice win on the face off. Moore. If this Hopkins Comes team has on weapons top. on offense, that's for sure. So. Not a pretty pass. Turtle. Puts Not it quite to the sure ground. what happened there as Cleveland State just kind of throws the ball away. Don't know if the got yeah, bumped Connor as I was passing it or what. Off the shot. Sails high. As Hopkins Blue just lets ball. a crazy pass go. Or maybe it was supposed to be a shot. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. I roam the middle. Hopkins takes a super deep shot. Unable to uh, get it really close to the net there. Down to Triff Smith. Cuts in. Oh, and just kind of got bumped in the back a little bit, forced into the crease. So we turn it over. Under three minutes now. This Cleveland State really needs to just play some solid D here and see if we can't hang on. And we do give up the goal there. Our goalie just a step slow. And it is 11 to 10 now. Cleveland State with the lead. Moore gets it Ross Moore gets the win. So up to Scott Ratliff on the right side. The Ratliff tries to dump it off to somebody. Oh, and the ball gets knocked out of his stick. And that's going to go back to Hopkins. Oh, we were able to successfully bump them out of bounds. So that was a big play there for the Vikings. See if they can't convert on the opportunity. Oh, and that time, I believe I still had uh, my stick held down from the previous shot. And so the guy in the back got it. He just instantly flung it at the back of the net. So that was an unfortunate turn of events there for us. Kyle Marr goes into the crease that time. Under two minutes left now. It's Cleveland State clinging to this one goal advantage. Gets it to Cade Ferris in the middle. Swings the ball up to Ben Stinson. Swims, swims to the right and the shot goes flying. Oh, and that time it just gets jarred out of our stick. Check stand with a step down goal. And we are all even at 11 now. Cleveland State's two goal lead evaporates for the second time in the game, actually. Just a minute and a half left in this one. It's coming down to the wire. Patty gets in first and and we let Hopkins get the, the face off as well. Super with the stop. Have swing around. Trying now. to get this clear. Scott Ratliff and DeBaron Nickelvane in the middle. And he's able to get space. Dodge Stinson. down. Here's Stinson in the middle. The and Stinson and comes over goal. and gets the That's critical goal. Flying past the defender 16. Just burying it. 65 takes left on the clock the and Cleveland State 12, takes the lead. 11. Ross Moore unable to win that face off. And Hopkins comes right back. And gets that goal and it took a total of four seconds off the clock. What an amazing shot. Skip shot goal. Now just 61 seconds left. And it is anyone's ball game. Once again unable to take the face off. As Hopkins looking for the lead now. He'll settle. Morin, he's in. Save nice save by Cooper there. 42 seconds left. So Cleveland State plays this correctly. We can sort of run some of the clock and try and hold for hold for the last shot. As we get hounded and the ball gets tipped Blue out. And what could be a critical error? Got to play really solid defense here. 
and we don't as Hopkins makes us pay for that mistake. Nice go ahead with just 18 seconds left and what's looking like it might be the Vikings. First loss of the season unless they're able to work some magic here in the late moments. Grassmore gets the critical win. Cleveland State's got to work quickly. Here comes Ackerson down the middle. And Turnbaugh gets the save. And it's probably going to do it in this one. I don't think we're going to be able to get to it. And Hopkins pulls off the big win. Really tough loss for uh, our Vikings in this one, but... As I said, Hopkins is one of the uh, best teams in college lacrosse, typically. And uh, they really played well today, especially in that fourth quarter. As we take a, take, take a quick look at the stats here. We did still win the face-off battle, but Hopkins definitely took a few critical ones there at the end. Everything else fairly even across the board, more or less. As, uh, Cole Williams takes player of the game because he had four goals on us, so he really was, uh, was a killer for us today. On our side, Ackerson did have the hat trick. And uh, Moore took 18 ground balls and 21 faceoff wins, so some good performances on our side, but uh, ultimately, uh, Hopkins is just a little bit too tough. And as I said, uh, you know, analyzing our schedule uh, at the beginning of the season, I kind of was looking at that game as probably one of the toughest um, in the, definitely in the first month of the season and probably even o overall. We'll go and take a look at uh, the calendar, see what we got coming up next. So next week we'll be taking on the Red Foxes of uh, Marist and that game will be uh, at home at Krenzler Field in Cleveland. So we'll try and uh, shake off the bad taste in our mouth from this game even though um, there is a lot to a lot of good to take away from this game as well. But just the fact we're able to hang in there like that against that good of a team um, should give us some good confidence going forward into this game against Marist and uh, the following week against uh, St. John's uh, Red Storm as well. So yeah, that, that's going to do it for this week, guys. Uh, thanks so much for uh, tuning in, and uh, please uh, like, comment, subscribe if you're liking the content. And uh, until next time, guys, have a good one.